wanted to talk to you briefly about one of the components that's pretty much part of your everyday life, which is the vehicle. How do I fight around a car? Well, first of all, you know, we'll talk to you about certain parts of it, but I need for you to understand if you're interested in driving, you should go to a driving school. And my part of it is relatively simple. When I teach it, I work on the interior components, you know, making sure the car stop, think about what's gonna happen on the airbag, think about the seatbelt, okay, think about drawing the gun and deploying it. But so you know, the absolute best answer for the people go, well, if, it, if you're in the car and bullets are smacking the car, drive away. People go, well, if I got a flat tire, drive the car. Driving is always better than a gunfight. Trust me, if you go to a grand jury and you go, I was in a gunfight, pause, replay, I was in an automobile accident, which one do you think is gonna be more defensible? Drive the car and drive away. That said, if the vehicle comes to rest, basically something goes wrong, you know, you're involved in an accident, uh, somebody does it on purpose, then the deal with it is those are the components we want to address. There's a couple components that you need to think about. In this case, so you know, I'm using the Blackhawk plastic training gun for no other reason than it's a really good way to acquire new skills with a piece of equipment that's safe. I simply move it. By doing so, I'll move my legs or knees to the left. It brings the gun holster forward. It clears my leg out of the arc of the draw. I clear the clothes. I simply take the pistol straight forward, use the curve of the wheel, three, 12, nine, and now I get to the point where I'm coming here to the door. Remember, if I brought the gun back in, don't cross. This is exactly what you're avoiding here. Bring it back, recover, and put it in. Remember, this is an introduction to what you need to do. It's not the ultimate answer for every aspect of it.